It wasn't too long ago when these two dogs were very close to death. Sisters Sophie and Angelique, two seven-month-old American Eskimo crosses, have a disease called parvo and were surrendered to the Manitoba Mutt Shelter. It's a bacteria that affects their uh, digestive tract. Basically, it starts to eat away at the lining and then a dog will eventually bleed out to death. So severe dehydration, vomiting, diarrhea, all those are kind of common signs. Within about 24 to 48 hours, you'll start to notice it, but up to 10 days it can take to notice it. Because they were a very strong positive, we knew that the virus had already advanced in their systems. They were put on a antibiotic and fluid drip right away to start hydrating them. The veterinarians at Fort Gary Vet were the ones looking after them and assessed that if these dogs had not been brought in, they would have been dead within 48 hours. The two are now on the road to recovery after a near fatal experience. Parvo can be prevented by a vaccination which Sophie and Angelique did not have. Canine parvovirus is completely preventable. It's a vaccination that your dog will get commonly uh, every second year. They alternate it between rabies and parvo. Two other dogs with parvo were also given to another shelter in Winnipeg at the same time, but one of those dogs died. It's a disease transferred very easily. They get it through the pads of their feet or by licking and walking around. It's a virus that's very aggressive. You can catch it in the city. It's not something you get in the wild or that, you know, like mange that you might only have if you're out in the woods or something like that. It's in the city. It's on the sidewalks. It's at parks. It's in a grocery store parking lot. And if your dog is not vaccinated, they will catch it. The two are still unable to leave their foster's home, but if all goes well with their recovery, will be up for adoption in a month. Manitoba Mutz is looking to raise funds for Sophie and Angelique's vet bills, which totaled more than $3,000. To donate, visit manitobamutz.org. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kevin Hirschfield.